All right, 22nd of March, let's take a look. Gold, Euro dollar, Dow Jones. Now this is, okay, this is Monday. Remember for gold, I said Monday is a swing day in the members area, right? So that's Monday. Market coming down and this is Tuesday, right? So Tuesday starts here and there. And that's the Astro hours there. So on Monday, we had a high swing day and the market's been sizzling down all day Tuesday. And these are the Astro hours for today. And as you can see, the market's now sizzling down from here. So I can get rid of this now. I can get rid of this now. And I'm going to refresh this page now. Just go back and forth so the daily pivot settles in there. Okay, and now we can get rid of this too because the market did the daily pivot yesterday. That's yesterday's daily pivot. This is today's daily pivot. So I'm just going to refresh that. That should settle in here right now. So let's get rid of this. Okay, and this is how it is. So yesterday I said we should be going down as well towards there. This was the first zone. As you can see, market jumped up a little bit but kept coming down because this was the last astro hour and you see how at the last astro hour yesterday the market just stabilized until today's astro hour you can see the market returning from there again nice and easy so let's take a look at the daily levels for today now as you know we're expecting a turn from here so the market's coming down this is the first zone this is indecision bar but we should come to this 52 level which is the 1903 so i'm going to put 1903 down here i'm going to get rid of this we want to follow it down there why why is a good question let's take a look at the daily again because i got that target there 1903 is also on the price and this is the place where the breakout happened so that's the indecision bar as you can see and this is the spot where that happened all right so we're going to match the price now i'm going to get rid of this okay because we're done with these we're done oops well okay we're done with these let's do it so we we're expecting the market to come down we should come down now you can see there's a gap here the market should come lower than 1903 okay but you know what the next swing day is so what you can do is if you're using your atam strategy do this okay and when it gets to that line there okay it should probably hit there you need to take profit there all right 1903 just make sure you should already have your trade covered okay if you sold off if you sold yesterday you still should have had your trade covered as you know we're going down all right so any move up into an astro hour you should be selling down again all right into that zone let's take a look at the euro dollar now with the euro dollar i talked about the swing days for euro dollar on monday as well i gave you those dates and i said to you trade it on the swing days okay because it could go both ways i said right but here we are so remember last week that day was a, i think it was a wednesday it was a swing day the market fell down thursday was also a swing day and look how the market went up now we're up into this zone here and we talked about that zone being here right i'm just going to refresh that so the daily pivot will come back here where it needs to be and this was yesterday astro hour with a breakout and the market as you can see stabilized at these astro hours <clears throat> and did a bit of a retracement until the last astro hour as you can see and then from here picked up a little bit i can get rid of this white line now so if we come up to this zone you can think about selling it off okay we should come back down all right into this zone so i'm expecting the market to come down any pull up into these levels these are pst levels let's check out the daily so that blue line there is the lcl one which is 1.08 so 1.08 is going to be here okay and on the weekly i do believe we've got 63 18 16 that's still the same thing there right there so any push up into there is going to give us a pst resistance if it matches an astro hour you sell it off okay um and like i said be mindful of the swing days nice and easy i talked about this being up because it did all the targets okay so it just it's logical it just needs to go up 
and that's that place there and then we need to sell it off because that's a PST resistance to come down and once this week is over this setup is going to change it's going to be like this so you could already draw that you can already say to yourself well this is the line and you can also take this and draw it from the bottom just a sec from here to here Let's take a look at the US 30. Now, US 30 swing day was a Monday. Dow Jones, Monday swing day. And it did it right at the bottom there. As you can see. Okay, let me just check. Dow Jones. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Dow Jones was Tuesday. SP 500 was Monday. Sorry about that. So this is Tuesday yesterday. And that's, that's the top it did there and the market came down so what do we want to do with this us 30. so that was a tuesday let's see if we're anywhere on the weekly okay 48.55 now 48.55 is 32.748 which is up here right so this is the weekly resistance so if it gets up there to um, if it gets up there that's the sell but the swing day was tuesday okay as you can see so i rather go to the target there on the weekly why because the pst indicators targets work out okay so that was it so we'll have to sit and wait on this one because if the high if this this is tuesday right this is tuesday today's wednesday if it doesn't go higher and starts crashing down the minute it breaks this low here any pull up is good to sell because we should also come down into this zone here okay we should come back down here <clears throat> so you can think about selling as well let's take a look at today is wednesday and you could think about doing that in the new york session absolutely so in the new york session watch out and absolutely all right so you can wait for the new york session on this one no need to rush it in bitcoin shady okay um the swing day for bitcoin was monday as you can see monday made a high it still hasn't broken the swing so we don't know what's going on with this one but with bitcoin you guys know we are buying and holding as the market comes down into our ascertained levels and if you've been buying when i said you should be buying after mid jan or actually middle of january then you should be way 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 in profit okay because mid jan you know where we were like we're down 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 so if you turn this into a daily chart you know what i'm talking about all right so that's that have a good one